welcome to Leadfoot TV. So today you join us in the middle of Tokyo. So yesterday we flew out from Heathrow to Tokyo. And yeah, it's been mental <laughs> already. We had an afternoon, didn't we, to ourselves yesterday. Um, so today is our first full day. Um, we've got a hire car for the day, so we're gonna head out to a few places. We are currently in our Nissan Cube in the middle of Tokyo. We had planned to go to the STI gallery this morning, so um, we checked and it's shut every day apart from Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. So then we thought, oh, we'll go to the Nismo or Mori factory. That's also shut apart from Saturday and Sunday. So now we're heading all the way to Mategi circuit to check out the Honda collection hall. Maybe you should press the green button. Press green, yeah. And then look at your seat. Take your seat. Jingle at the end and everything. <laughs> Japanese <laughs> um, we got there in the end but basically you have to pay a thousand yen for parking and then uh, 1800 yen each for each adult um, for entry and that just gets you into the whole Mategi resort and so we're at Mategi twin loop circuit and we're gonna head to the collection hall in here for uh, yeah the Honda collection hall um, I've got no idea where we're going, I'm just following this road until we get there. <laughs> oh, nice. Hello, old Ash. That is uh, the first skyline we've spotted in the wild. <laughs> That's sick. That's very cool. Oh, I like this one. Yeah. Sarah's very in love with uh, all the little K cars, yeah. aren't you? <laughs> So the trusty little cube got us here We're in the car park. It's very, very full of Hondas. I think this is a new Daihatsu Copen. That's a pretty cool looking, bit of a weird uh, paint job. Recaro's in it are pretty cool. Can't really see, but yeah, there. And then we've got an R32 GTR. This is the th first uh, 32 GTR we've seen. Yeah, we saw a Bayside Blue R34 on the motorway this morning, um, but this is the first 32 we've seen. It's very, very clean as well. It looks immaculate, doesn't it? How old is it? Um, it'll be a similar age to mine, like 91-ish. This is the entrance to the Honda Collection Hall. Yeah, very, very cool. got a 1967 Formula One car on the S600 or 500? 500, S500. No, Super Cub. Sarah, because you've um, been learning Japanese and how to write, you can read everything out. <laughs> What's this say? <laughs> Cars won't improve. Hey yo, what the fuck? Oh, it's written in English. I didn't see that. I like, How she read that? I was like, you've been really practicing. <laughs> Got another Honda uh, 360. This one. It's even smaller than the one outside. So cool, aren't they? These little. All this. If I wasn't seven foot tall, I would probably own one of these. I think they look really nice. How much are they though? Uh, not as much as you'd think they were. Maybe not those ones. How much? I don't know. I haven't looked for a while. They're probably worth a lot more than I think. So it's not too your height, might be due your bank. Yeah. Ooh, 
so there is another floor upstairs um, there's a lot of cars down there but let's um, have a quick wander around these bikes I know nothing about bikes so I probably is, seem stupid this is, this is me <laughs> yeah this is about the only bike I probably know is a Honda Super Cub <laughs> Got a few more bikes. A couple, couple of trikes. They look like the old um, the bikes at the back are like all the old post office bikes. Some old police bikes. some Honda Acties, oh no, T360, I think that's an Acti there, the second one in, and then some more S500s and 600s and stuff, don't actually know what that is, <laughs> yeah, I've got no idea what that is, it says LM700 on the back, I don't know if that's the model or what, um, but I've never seen one of them in my life, a little Acti, I've always really liked these. I wouldn't mind owning one of them one day. Then you've got a N600, I think. Is it an N600? Tiny little thing. So yeah, sorry, that's, a, that's an N360. And um, that one is... Oh, the, uh, yeah. So that is just a Honda Z. It's, um, it's very easy to get these cars mixed up because it's like... I just don't see them in real life. Um, all the only time you ever see them is on the internet. So um, it's pretty cool actually finally seeing some of these cars because I've seen them online a lot, but you just don't get the opportunity to see them driving around, especially stuff like the 360. It's um, extremely, extremely rare now. And stuff, like, stuff like this that I've just I've never even seen before. Um, whatever this is. Very cool style and it looks, um, they look a lot like an old um, Toyota from the back rather than a Honda, like the lighting style is a lot like the um, RA28 Celicas and stuff. Um, I, I really like that red one, that red one's really nice. And got a Mark 1 Civic. Stupidly, stupidly clean. And then we've got a Civic Wagon Country, which I, is the first time I've ever seen one of them as well. That is weird but cool at the same time. I think it is literally just a vinyl sticker on the side, the wood panelling. It's not actually wood. I think it is based off a Mark II Civic, that one. That is a Mark II Civic front end. And then third gen Civic. So I've had very, very many of these cars before. In the past, I've, I've probably owned about five or six of these. Um, probably my favorite car of all time. <laughs> um, which is very, very cool. I've, I had, um, had a white one actually with the same blue interior as this. 
it's very of its time. <laughs> you either love it or you hate it, I guess, but um, I always really like the old school coloured interiors. Honda Life pickup, pretty cool. And then this, I think, is an Accord, is it? Yeah, that's an old Accord. Again, with the very in-your-face interior colours. <laughs> this is an Accord Aero Deck. Don't think they actually sold these in many places other than Europe. So if you're watching from America, it's probably your first time seeing one of these. But yeah, they were quite popular in the UK and Europe. Always really liked them. I think they're just a cool looking car. In the rest of the world, they sold them as a coupe. So it had like a, a back on it rather than, um, yeah, rather than it being a hatchback. But yeah, I've always really liked the shape of these. One of my friend's dads had one when we were younger and I always just remember really enjoying going in it. Honda City with the motor compo. And another City Cabriolet. It's very, very nice. I really like that colour. That colour is awesome. <laughs> the interior as well. The interior is pretty cool. And then, then here you've got a Honda Prelude, I think. Yeah, it is. Honda Prelude. You don't see these ever anymore. I remember seeing these on the road quite a lot, but yeah, they're not around anymore. I don't get why they don't make cool interiors like this anymore. <laughs> First generation Honda Integra, um, double overhead cam one as well. It's very, very rare to get a two door one of these. Um, in the UK, they didn't sell a two door. They were all four door. I actually had one in red like that, a four door version. Very hard to get hold of in the UK. Now, there's, there's hardly any of them left, unfortunately. Mine got written off <laughs> outside my house. Somebody crashed into it, which was incredibly annoying because it took me a long time to find one. I've always really liked these. I would kill for a two-door one. I've never seen a two-door one in person before. Um, yeah, it's awesome. Then uh, I think this is a first-generation Honda Legend with the V6 and it's very cool. I've never seen one of these in person. It's extremely square. <laughs> and then again with the brown interior, brown dashboard. Then first generation CRX also had one of these as well. Um, they share a lot of the same chassis as the third generation Civic over there that we showed you earlier. This generation CRX, the third generation Civic and the first generation Integra all work pretty similar, they had um, same engine configuration, same, yeah, same torsion bar chassis on them. So they were, yeah, very, very similar. Honda today, yeah, pretty cool. Then you've got a classic, which is this Honda Beat in the yellow, which is probably the most popular color for them. Uh, you can see why it just looks really cool with the, uh, zebra print seats in it <laughs> they're absolutely tiny these things i'm i'm six foot seven and i have absolutely no chance of fitting in these there is a picture of me sat in one with almost my whole head poking out the top of the windscreen <laughs> and then we've got a honda legend again which is shape after that shape i think but i have had a honda legend but i think it was a shape after this Oh no, it's not a legend, that's why I can't, why it doesn't look right. It's a Honda Inspire. I've never even seen one of those before. Honda Del Sol, or a CRX Del Sol, depending where you're from. Double overhead cam, VTEC B16. And probably one of the coolest folding hard tops in the world. <laughs> they just really love those trans tops. Fortunately, they break a lot, but... And then here, you've got a genuine Honda NSXR, which is uh, probably the dream. It's incredibly nice, super nice Recaros in them. Carbon, carbon Kevlar center console, no more wheel in it. Yeah, this is probably like the holy grail of Hondas, this. Really, really cool. Then DC2 Type R, EK9. Type R, Honda S2000, uh, Honda Insight, bunch of lawnmowers, <laughs> little ride on tractor. 
now we're heading up onto the top floor, which I think is where all the race cars are, which is the bit I'm excited about the most. And right away we've got NSX pace car. Um, we'll leave the cars to the last and we'll just have a quick browse around all these motorbikes. So here we've got all the Marshall, Marshall and Pace cars and stuff. Um, little Honda S500, I, can, I never know which one's which out of these. I think it's, a, well, let's see, that's an S800, I was wrong again. <laughs> no, it's a, like a race Marshall car. Another NSX, just a normal one this time, not an R, it's an auto as well. Um, and then pace car, a very, very clean engine bay. Through here, it's the bit I'm excited about the most, is the race cars. some very special stuff but let's take a quick look around these F1 cars um, again F1 is not especially of mine I watch it occasionally but I don't have a huge bank of knowledge on F1 <laughs> yeah, very cool I love these old um, F1 exposed headers like just right out the back of the car, no messing around. <laughs> no regards for safety, just absolutely raw, crazy. We've got the John Player Special car. Very, very cool and very, very iconic livery on it. This was back when Mugen used to do a lot with the um, Formula One team. So, and then we've got Casio livery on that one. It's probably one of the most famous cars in F1. It's the McLaren Honda MP4. This side, we have the race cars again. Another Honda S800. I only know that's an S800 because it looks exactly like the one that we saw before. And I think I might even be wrong again. No, it is an S800. And then a lot of you may think that my dream car is an R32 Skyline, but this here is actually my dream car. It's a Honda Civic Si. It was tuned by Mugen for racing. I've just always really wanted a Honda Civic Si in the third generation shape. Just, I don't know what it is about them. I've just absolutely loved them. And this particular one is probably my dream car is the one that got me into third generation Honda Civics. I had, yeah, like I said earlier, probably about five of them. They didn't sell the SI in the UK, so I've never had an SI. And the only difference is that they came with a twin cam uh, 1.6 engine, which had about 130 horsepower uh, rather than the 90 or whatever we got in the UK. But very, very cool. And this, it sounds incredible. If you ever look up um, any videos of this car, it sounds so good. And then, then we've got the Castrol touring car. Um, 
pretty sure it was a Japanese touring car, this one. Uh, that, I don't know whether you can pick that up, but that looks absolutely mental inside there. Yeah, it will have been a Japanese one, this with the, the back, that back end. Yeah, and then we've got the uh, Le Mans NSX. Just, uh, it looks so good with the uh, the vents in the bonnet and the yeah mental engine looks sick as well. Another race spec NSX. Very cool. I really like those SSR wheels on it. They look sick. Really, really nice. Then we've got the Castrol. NSX, I'm pretty sure this was a GT3 car, could read the sign, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was. And then, um, yeah, just a super cool livery on it. And uh, yeah, again, the vents on it are really cool. Um, they used to, they put like a dam through the front and out the back basically just to push the front of the car down. Yeah, absolutely mega. Last up, we've got a couple more. F1 cars. So that was the Honda Collection Hall. Um, it's a pretty sick place, wasn't it? Um, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to go check out the gift shop downstairs on our way out and spend all our money. <laughs> so um, yeah, we'll go check that out. And then we are at Mategi Twin Loop anyway. So we thought we may as well go and have a quick peep around. I don't think there'll be a lot on today. I think they were doing some testing or something on the track before, but we'll go and check it out. Yeah, and just see what else is around. Very cool, Honda Beat t-shirt. Hmm? Little Honda Beat on the t-shirt, yeah. that's pretty cool. Oh, these are cool, these little gear rings. So good. Mm. Cars on them. Oh, there's an Accord Type R in silver as well, same as ours. Oh. Why are these ones so expensive? Oh, oh, is that for the full set? Oh yeah. A box. 700 yeah. for one. Mm. That's cool. Okay, I'm gonna have to buy that. <laughs> I like these little pins. Oh yeah, those are cool. Sweet turbo tins. Oh, oh that's, yeah, that's sick. Oh, that's six. Oh, they like the one upstairs? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're cool, aren't they? Mm. I think I'm definitely going to have to buy that cool type R. Mm. Photo of the new FL5 Civic Type R. We have not got them in the UK yet. Probably will do by the time this video comes out. <laughs> NSX models. Loads. Little models. DC2, like a UK spec front end on it as well. Hey. Yeah, no. <laughs> Hot Wheels, it's super cool. I've never seen it. You've got that and that. But I've been... not seen a black one no. before, no. We've just walked up to the track entrance and there's a little go-kart track near the entrance, which is pretty cool. They've got loads of stuff to do here, so they've got a kids' cart track right next to it. A zip wire. Uh, there's a I just massive see that. zip wire. Probably won't be able to see it too well on my camera, but coming from that little blue station there, there's a zip wire all the way down. I've got a little mini moto Aww. track. I thought they were going to be kids. <laughs> awesome. Should we have some seats? Should we get the best seats? I've never sat in a place like this. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, so there's uh, some kind of like bike track day on by the looks of it. This is massive. I've never really... really... He's doing a fat, massive wheelie down the street. <laughs> How do they come out from under there, but yeah. how do they get there? It goes around there, I think. Yeah, but where's the other entrance? Oh, it goes in and out. Oh, wow. I 
I've never really like watched anything on the Tegi before, but it looks like a really cool circuit, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, you can see it all. Yeah, it goes like right down, right down the turn, stupid gimbal. Um, yeah, right down there, under a bridge under there, and then comes out right round the back. Comes all the way around here, and then back under the bridge again. Under there. I've just noticed as well, down there, there's a little Honda Beat in the car park. And then just a load of Civic Type R's lined up in the pit lane. So that was Honda Collection Hall and Mategi Circuit. We ended up going for a walk around the woods to see the flying squirrels. Unfortunately, they're nocturnal, so <laughs> we didn't see any all day. But yeah, um, Mategi's been awesome and you get some pretty good views from the woods anyway, even, even if you want to just come for a walk and see stuff from up here. Somebody came off their bike on the track day, so I think it has been stopped. But it's a really cool place to come if you are uh, a uh, massive bee. <laughs> yeah, it's a really pl cool place to come if you've got kids and you need activities to keep them entertained and you want to do something cool as well. So you've got like the Honda Collection Hall, the track, but there's loads of like activities. There was go-karting, um, little ride on carts, zip lines, and um, yeah, just tons of stuff for them to do. So a really cool place to come with the kids if, if you visit in Japan and you want to see some cool car stuff. But that is it for Mategi in the Honda Collection Hall. We are heading to the Nismo Omori factory tomorrow morning. So next video will be there. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.